Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Today, I wanted to go through Power BI. Power BI is a, a fantastic product from Microsoft. It's relatively young. I think it's just over a year old. However, uh, it has been progressing fast. Uh, and we are actively connecting that up to NAV uh, for very nice uh, dashboards and all kinds of manipulation of data. And there are many ways to connect Power BI. And I wanna go through sort of the simplest way to connect it up to NAV and show you what you can be done or what can be done quickly. So <clears throat> right now I'm looking at uh, my inventory screen and I see here that I have my items, so sort of test items I have here, or I'm sorry, actual items. Um, and then I have my quantity on hand, and I got the item category, which is filled out for some, not all. And what I want to do is actually bring over the item list into Power BI with the quantity on hand. Now, quantity on hand is a calculation from the item ledger entries. So if I click on quantity on hand, I get the item ledger entries and it's really a sum of the field here remaining quantity or either way you could sum up the quantity or the remaining quantity you should get the same. Uh, so for Power BI when we're setting things up we have to think about that the item table is what we want and we also want the item ledger entries table or the item ledger entry table. So let's fire up Power BI. And I am running right now the desktop version, which you can download for free uh, on Microsoft's website. And you just uh, bing it <laughs> and you can uh, find the link. Now I'm going to go in here and say get data uh, SQL Server. So I can get data from a lot of different sources but normally uh, NAV is running on a SQL Server, so I can connect straight to the SQL Server. That has some benefits and also some um, not good things as well. And I'll, I'll explain that a little bit as I go through it. So the server that I'm looking for is just a local host server. I'm running it actually locally. And I'm gonna pick the NAV 2016 demo database you would obviously put in your server and your database here. Uh, then it asks me how I want to connect. Oh, actually it just connects. It's happy with the credentials. Now here we get a lot of different tables and you can see I have several companies in my database and I end up with 7,533 tables, which is a lot. And you see some of them have here this VS or VSIFT, which is, uh, those are calculated fields and they're really not useful for sort of the day-to-day -day operations uh, for us or querying. Uh, what I can do is just type in here item and then it'll filter out just the item tables. Um, and I, what I want to do is go to the coffee mug and I want to pick out the item table, which is right here. So it's coffee mug international, which is the name of the company, dollar sign item. Um, which is the item table. And remember, I also need another table called item ledger entry. And we are going to just look for that one. That should be right here, item ledger entry. Check that off. And then I just hit load. All right. So it brings in all of the table or those two tables. Uh, and now you can see on the right hand side I have let's just make this a little bit bigger I have the uh, coffee mug international item with all of its fields and then the coffee mug international item ledger entry with everything um, okay so what we want to do right now is display information from this I'm going to start by showing you how quickly you can actually display data. If I go into the item, 
I can just go ahead and find the number field, which is somewhere here. And notice it'll start rendering out the number. Uh, and then I can go ahead and try to find, for example, the description, uh, which is right here. And I have that. And how about the item category? So item category code, which is right here. Now you can see that I have all my items. I got the item category code. I can sort by item category code. And got a bunch of things there. Um, okay, so what do we want to do? Let me just sort it again like this. Um, is calculate the quantity available. Now, showing the quantity available, it, that's in a subtable. You're not going to find that in here, in this table. So, what we're going to do is actually connect the two tables. So I go here into Manage Relationships. I haven't defined any relationships. Um, okay, so we're going to create a new one. And what are we going to connect? We're going to connect the item, uh, the number, to the item ledger entry, item number. So it's one too many and I'm connecting the item ledger entries to the item number. I'm sorry, the uh, item number to the item number field and item ledger entries. Uh, and I'll activate that. And now I close. And you can also see this in here. Now it's connected in a little bit of a graphical way. I actually like the other way better because it actually tells me what it's hooking up to. Here I kind of have to sort of guess. Anyways, uh, let me go back to the report. And now, if I go ahead and select the uh, let's see, item ledger entry, and let's go in here and look for something called remaining quantity. I get the remaining quantity of all of the items, which is kind of nice. Uh, if I would have not connected the two together, the remaining quantity would be totals for all items in all items. So that would not have worked. Uh, and now I can take this and change it into um, different formats like that. You can see what has the highest quantities. I can also just take out the item number and description. Take that out. And then I just have the item category. Let's see where is the number right here. And now I can see how we're doing. On that, I can see we have produce as 22,100, probably pounds. Got some coffee in here. And then I really have to do some work in categorizing my items because I've got a lot of items that have no category. So this is how you can start playing around with Power BI through NAV. As you can see, it's very simple. Uh, and I'll probably be posting more um, videos on this, but at least this is a good start. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.